The American newspaper Forbes said that Ukraine lost two street fans 122 tanks donated by Sweden at the same time due to being destroyed by Russia's Landsat UAV at the Crimea front. Meanwhile, the field at Rabatino had become a cemetery for Western ammo vehicles. According to Forbes, the Ukrainian army lost one-fifth of its street fans 122 tanks in one battle. Street fans 122 is considered one of the most reliable tanks in the Ukrainian army today. The problem is that the Swedish only supply Ukraine with 10 street fans 122 tanks. This is a modification of the German Leopard 2A6 tank from Sweden. These tanks are assigned to the 21st Mechanized Infantry Brigade of Ukraine. According to public information, both Street Fans 122 tanks were attacked by the Landsat UAV in the direction of Svatovo Kremensky in the Stelmakovka area. The supposedly most modern tanks of the Swedish army, which were donated to Ukraine, finally appear on the battlefield. At least six Street Fan 122s weighing 62 tons appear in a video spread online on September 20. Observers were looking forward to the appearance of the Street Fan 122 on the Ukrainian battlefield and hoped it could make a difference. The Street Fan 122 is equipped with a 120mm smooth bore gun, which is capable of firing a variety of rounds, including armor piercing fin stabilized, discarding support, high explosive anti tank, and high explosive squash head rounds. It also has a 7.62mm coaxial machine gun mounted next to the main gun and a 12.7mm anti aircraft machine gun mounted on the top of the turret. In January and February this year, Sweden announced a large arms air package to Ukraine, including 10 Street Fan 122 tanks, 50 CV-90 infantry fighting vehicles, and 8 Archer 155mm self-propelled guns. This batch of weapons has increased the total value of Sweden's military support to Ukraine to $1.5 billion. The weapons provided by Sweden are enough to equip a tank company, a mechanized infantry battalion, and an artillery company in the newly established 21st Mechanized Infantry Brigade of the Ukrainian Army. It is possible that the 21st Brigade will be equipped with additional weapons of non Swedish origin. Ukraine's 21st Mechanized Infantry Brigade trained in Sweden this spring and redeployed back to Ukraine just as the long awaited summer 2023 counter offensive gets underway. According to Forbes, the strange thing is that the 21st Mechanized Infantry Brigade, equipped with Swedish weapons, considered the best weapons in Ukraine's arsenal, does not appear to have been deployed to any front. Instead, the brigade is slowly advancing towards the Western Crimea front in northeastern Ukraine. However, during the movement, the 21st Brigade's formation was fiercely attacked by suicide UAVs and Russian artillery. Presumably, the Street Fan 122 tanks moving along with the CV-90 infantry fighting vehicles were destroyed by the Landsat UAV in the fields and forests outside Crimea. The question is whether the Ukrainian army can expect anything from Street Fan 122 tanks, when tanks of both Soviet, Russian, and Western origin have been continuously destroyed 
since the outbreak of the conflict between Russia and Ukraine. Nowadays, tank battles on the battlefield are very rare. Instead, tanks tend to move with infantry fighting vehicles to provide fire support and suppress the enemy so that the infantry fighting vehicles can advance. <laughs>